Story time, the Bebop. A heritage trail through South Africa, based on the Platinum textbooks. The provinces of South Africa. South Africa is divided into nine provinces. Think of them as individual puzzle pieces. Each of these provinces hold their own special place in the history of our country. Can you name the nine provinces of South Africa? Our provinces are Western Cape, Northern Cape, Eastern Cape, Northwest, Gauteng, Free State, Limpopo, Mpumalanga, and KwaZulu-Natal. So what is heritage? Heritage is something that is passed down from generation to generation. It plays an important role in our cultures and histories. Tangible heritage has to do with the things we can see and touch, such as objects and buildings, people and flags. Intangible heritage has to do with the things we cannot see and touch, such as songs, dances, poetry and stories, religion, and memories. There are many important parts of our heritage spread out across our nine provinces. The Cradle of Humankind in Gauteng A heritage site is a place of historical importance. One such site is located in Gauteng. It is called the Cradle of Humankind. It is the richest fossil site in the world and is older than Johannesburg. A lot of paleontologists study the fossils there, and many famous fossils have been found. These include an almost complete skeleton nicknamed Little Foot, a hominid skull called Mrs. Please, and the bones of two hominids, nicknamed Caribou, the golden objects at Mapungabwe. Heritage objects are objects that are important to history. There is a place in Limpopo called Mapungabwe. Many African farmers lived there. These farmers made objects out of gold. One such an object was the golden rhino, which was found in the grave of a king. So why did they make it? In Mapungabwe, the black rhino is a symbol of leadership. This is why it was given to kings and other leaders. The black rhino also lives alone, just like the kings and other royal family members, who lived away from others at the top of Mapungabwe Hill. Francis Bard in the Northern Cape There are also many people who play an important role in our history and heritage. Francis Bard was such a person. She was born in Kimberley in the Northern Cape. She was a teacher. Francis Bard fought against apartheid and was eventually sent to jail for her actions. After many years, she was finally released and lived long enough to see the first democratic elections in 1994. Today, there is a district in Kimberley named after her, the Gary Epp Dam in the Free State. Some names play an important role in our history. Did you know that the Orange River is the longest river in South Africa? It creates the southern border of the Free State and flows until it ends in the Gary Epp Dam. During the apartheid, the dam was known as the Verward Dam, which was named after a man named H.F. Verward. He was a white leader during the apartheid, and when South Africa became a democratic country in 1994, the government changed the name. Beriep is a word from San language, the castle of good hope in the Western Cape. Did you know that the Khoisan were the first people who lived in the Cape? Thousands of years later, in 1652, the Dutch arrived. They built a five-cornered fort for defense and named it the Castle of Good Hope. The Castle of Good Hope was built using slate and lime that were carried from the quarries. Wood was cut and carried all the way from Hout Bay, and they mixed shells and sand to create a strong cement. The healing properties of aloe in the Eastern Cape. Knowledge about healing is passed from generation to generation. For example, the aloe plant is used for healing by many indigenous healers and can be found in the Eastern Cape. The aloo plant has many healing properties and can heal stomach aches, cuts, and burns. It also makes the skin soft and is used in many moisturizers and creams. Modern medicine has origins in plants and indigenous medicines. The stone-walled town in Limpopo. South Africa has many traditional architecture such as buildings and villages. Thousands of years ago, African farmers settled in the northwest province and formed new towns. These towns were special because they had walls made of stone instead of mud and clay. Catatween was a town built on a steep hill. It had many stone walls and strangers got lost in its winding lanes. Makonjwa Mountains in Ambelanga Temple Malanga is known for its natural beauty. The Makonjwa Mountains in Barberton have some of the oldest rocks in the world. Scientists study the mountains to gain a better understanding of how our planet and life on Earth evolved. Some people believe that their ancestors live in places such as streams, rivers, rocks, and trees. The Drakensberg Rock Art in KwaZulu-Natal 
There are hundreds of thousands of sand rock art paintings in South Africa. View Kalamba. Drakensberg Park is a World Heritage Site. It has over 40,000 rock art paintings. Many paintings show pictures of the Eland. The Eland is a symbol of power and painted with great care and respect.